Hello children, the topic for class 10 today is arithmetic progressions. Okay, now let us consider this series of numbers. Say 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 15, etc. Does it follow any definite pattern? No. So let us consider this 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. Does this follow any definite pattern? Yes. We see that the first number is 3. The next number I have got by adding 3. And the next number I have got by adding 3. And here also the next number I have got by adding 3 and so on. So there is a common difference between two successive numbers. And how do I get that 3? 6 minus 3 will give me 3. 9 minus 3, the minus 6 will give me 3. 12 minus 9 will give me 3. That means we are finding the second term minus the first term and we are getting the common difference. So this, uh, is, this is at AP. Okay? When there is a common difference between two successive terms, it forms an AP. In the AP, the first term is denoted by the letter A. Okay? And every entity of this series is known as a term. Okay? So, and this common difference, this 3, is known as common difference. The common difference is denoted by the letter D. Okay? So, this is the uh, terms related. These are the they know, uh, terms relating to the AP. Now you take for example uh, the number of terms in the AP. Okay, If the AP is going to be like this where there is no last term then it is called an infinite AP. What is it called? It is called an infinite AP or arithmetic progression. Supposing if there are uh, you know definite numbers, number of numbers just say they had given the last term as uh, 300. Okay, so with 300, the uh, AP has stopped. So there is a last term. So the last term is denoted by the letter L. Okay, this is D and this is L. So the last term is denoted by the letter L. Since there will be a definite number of terms, this AP is called a finite AP. So have you understood? So, these are uh, the terms which are related to the AP. Now, you take for example this set of numbers. Let me see. Just say you have 5, 5, 5, etc. Does this form an AP? Yes. Why? If I subtract the second term minus the first term, I will get 0. And the third term minus the second term, once again, I will get 0. Similarly, if I keep adding 0, I will get the next next terms. So, there is a common difference. Hence, it is an AP. Okay? Now, just say this it was like this. 40, 10, minus 20, etc. Now, if you take this, what happens? The second term minus the first term will give me minus 30. Okay? Now, the third term minus the second term, that is minus 20 minus 10, I will get minus 30. So, minus 30 will give me this term. Similarly, when I minus 30, I get the next term and so on. Here, we find that the common difference is minus 30. So, this also is an AP. So, from these examples, we find that the common difference can be 0, negative or positive. Okay, so now let us go to the general form of an AP. The general form of an AP can be given as A, A plus D, A plus 2D, plus, uh, sorry, etc. Okay, that means we find the first term is denoted by the letter A. So this is the first term. The second term is A plus D. We are adding the first term and the common difference. The third term will have A plus 2D. So, the fourth term will have A plus 
3, correct? Like that. Okay, so we find in the second term there is 1D, in the third term there is 2D, that is 1 less than that, in the fourth term there is 3D, so in the nth term what do we have? We will have A plus N minus 1D. So this will be the general form of the AP and this will be the nth term of an AP. So the nth term of an AP will be given by An is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. Okay, where An is the nth term, A is the first term, N is the number of terms and D is the common difference of the AP. Okay, now using this formula, we will work out some sums. Okay, first sum. The sum that is given to you is, what is the tenth term? Okay. Find the tenth term of the AP. Two, seven, twelve, etc. Okay, so this is the AP that is given to you. Now, if you notice what is given from this, we can say A is equal to two, D is equal to seven minus two, second term minus the first term, which is equal to five. Okay, now the tenth term, pH is coming, so this N n is equal to 10. Okay, so we have to find the 10th term means a 10 is equal to question mark. This is what we have to find. Now what is the formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 b. So a 10 will be equal to a is 2 plus n minus 1 is 10 minus 1 into D. D is 5. Okay. So what will you get? 2 plus 9 into 5. That is 2 plus 45 which is equal to 47. So this will be my 10th term. Did you understand? Okay. So what have we done? From the AP we have found the first term. We found the common difference by subtracting the second term and the first term and the number of terms is given. So we want to find A10. So A10 we substitute in the formula A plus N minus 1D and get the answer. Okay. Now let us do one more sum. Okay. The sum that is given is check whether three not one is a term of the AP 5, 11, 70, etc. Okay, so this is the AP given. They want us to know whether 301 is in the series of numbers. So what we will do is, from this, what is given, first write down. So what is given by A is equal to 5. Common difference D in the 11 minus 5, which is equal to 6. Okay. Then, they want us to know whether this is the thing. So, this we we'll consider as some AN. So, we say let AN equal to 3 not 1. Now, I'm going to substitute to the AN formula and check whether this is a uh, term of the series. So, what we'll do is, what is the AN formula? a plus n minus 1 d is equal to 3 not 1. Now let us substitute a is 5 plus n minus 1 into d which is 6 is equal to 3 not 1. That implies 5 plus uh, expand the bracket 6 n minus 6 is equal to 3 not 1. So that is 6 n is equal to 3 not 1 now 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So when I take minus 1 that side it will become plus 1. So what you get n is equal to 
302 by 6. Now 302 by 6 is it a whole number? If you check you will get 6 will go into this 50 point mm, 50 and 2 by 6 right. So this is not a whole number. So when it is not a whole number n has to be a whole number right because we can't say 50 and 2 by 6 the term correct. So n has to be a whole number. If n is a whole number, you will just say that it is a term of the AP. Since n is becoming a fraction, what we will say is 301 is not a term of the AP. So that is the answer that you will write. Therefore, 301 is not a term of the AP, of the given AP. Okay, so this is the sum that we have solved. Okay, now let us do one more sum. Right. Find the eleventh term from the end of the AP. Now, they don't want us to say the 11th term from this side. If they say 11th term from this side, it is so easy. You just have to find A11. Now, what is the sum given? Find the 11th term from the end of the AP. That means from the last term. Here, the last term is given as minus 62. Okay. So, from this, they want us to find the 11th term. Okay. So, there is an easy way of doing it. Just follow. You take, since they have said end of the AP, you will take this as your A. So, you will say A is equal to minus 62. And what is D going to be? The, you as usual, you subtract this uh, second term minus the first term. That is 7 minus 10. So, what will you get? Minus 3. Okay. Now, since uh, we have got to get the 11th term from the end of the AP, you will do a small adjustment for the D and make it plus 3. Therefore, D is equal to plus 3. Okay? Because it is from the end of the AP. So, you will take A as the last term and D for the new AP from here will be plus 3. Okay? Then, you find A11. Therefore, A11 is equal to question mark. Okay, now what is A11 going to be? A11 is equal to A plus 11 minus 1 is 10D. Okay, so it is easy to remember. When it is A11, 11 will become 10 here. So when you substitute, what will you get? A is minus 62 plus 10 into this new common difference which is 3. That is minus 62 plus 30 which is equal to minus 32. So that will be your 11th term from the end of the AP. I'll just recap this sum. Please see. Find the 11th term from the end of the AP. 10, 7, 4, etc. Up to minus 62. The last term will be given. So in this case, since they want from the end of the AP, instead of taking A as 10, you will take A as minus 62. Okay. And for D also, what you will do is, first you find out com uh, common difference by subtracting second term minus first term. That is 7 minus 10 equal to minus 3. But because we are taking from the end of the AP, you must make a small adjustment and say D is equal to, you change the sign. If it is minus, it will become plus. If it is plus, it will become minus. Then you find A11. A11 is equal to A plus 10D. 11 will become 10. And that is, then you substitute A is minus 62 plus 10 into the new common difference which is 3. So minus 62 plus 30 is equal to minus 32. Okay children, I hope you have understood the application of the AN formula. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe, have a nice day.